This is the most explosive offense in Madden 24. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive it. It has explosive run plays. Run. And one play touchdowns versus every single defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! You need to drop palms. So if you want to see what brand new offense I'm using in results like this, oh my god! Stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my new San Francisco 49ers offensive and multi D defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help with offense or defense, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top 10 comment. This video is part two from what was supposed to be back to back videos last week against the Niners and this annoying trash talker. But then an update came out and I had to make a video about that on Wednesday and I had to push this back until this week. But in that video, I only showed a brand new defense that I recently started using and having a lot of success with. So much like that video, I won't be showing much on defense today. But if you guys want to see that video about that defense, I will have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. So stick around for that. The offensive formation that I'm going to show you guys today is the single back tight way off. I already made a full breakdown of this offense as well kind of as i did do a full breakdown video on this offense it was just out of the denver broncos playbook before i switched over to the 49ers but it does have a lot of the same plays and concepts so if you guys want to learn more about this offense i will have links in the description and on screen at the end of this video as well for my substitutions i like to put a second tight end in at this slot receiver position here for better blocking in the run game but this also gives me a total of seven linemen and tight ends on the field if you guys don't know in the september title update ea changed the requirements for what personnel the defense needs Needs to get the benefit of the new read and react AI on defense that is designed at making run defense much better in Madden 24. Now the defense has to have as many linebackers and linemen on the field as the offense has O linemen and tight ends. So adding this extra tight end means that the defense has to have at least seven linemen and linebackers on the field for the read and react AI to be turned on, which will make running the ball much harder for me. But since most people run nickel defenses all game, I won't have to deal with that too much. And I'm also going to put my fastest or my best receiver on the outside side here as this is the most dangerous route on the entire offense and that is because of this play here the pa leak as this is my one play touchdown versus every single defense in the game except for cover three and cover four for those two defenses, I have the PA post dig, which is also a one-play touchdown against every defense in the game from the other side of the field. I also keep the drive flood here for small pass plays, but after the one-play touchdown, this is mostly a running scheme. So I will keep the halfback zone weak in my audibles for inside runs, and my fifth and active play, I will choose the halfback stretch, because this is the running play that I will use the most. The reason I have this as my active play is because it takes too much time sometimes to switch to a different play if you see an advantage. So since this is the play I'm probably going to use the most, sometimes I'm going to want to come out and quick hike and run the play before my opponent can set up his defense properly to stop it. On the first play though, I see that he's in a 4-3 defense, meaning his read and react AI is on and watching me, but I can still get the advantage that I need simply by motioning across either one of these tight ends. Whichever one I decide to motion will become the outside receiver in what looks like a new bunch concept, with the inside tight end sealing the defensive end and the outside tight end sealing the edge, creating a wall of blockers that I can just simply sprint around to the edge as I pick up an easy 20 plus yard run on the very first play. Now I like what I see so I call a hurry up to keep my opponent in it, flip the play with the right stick and motion Goddard across this time so that I can do it again the exact same way and get the exact same results as Goddard gets all the way down the field to the safeties and I just went 44 yards on two run plays. When you start running like this most people will either switch to cover four quarters defense as this is probably one of the best run defenses in the game or they will try to run blitz which usually means man zero blitzing which is what my opponent tries to do in the very next play. When I come out of the huddle I see immediately at the safeties drop letting me know that he's in a cover zero so anytime I see this cover one cover two man or zone I will immediately switch to the PA leak as this is a one play touchdown against all those defenses simply by putting the tight end on a streak you're going to want to run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field but you're also going to need a little bit more space to the end zone than I have here the reason that this play beats man coverage is is because this route angles in a way that will usually run right into the defensive back in man coverage and when this happens you will see the defensive back will lose acceleration while the receiver receiver will not and he will run right past him so the goal is to lob the pass after he runs into the db but since i'm so close to the end zone i throw it early before he runs into him and the defensive back just turns around
kind of cuts me off. So watch for that bump that I will show you later in the video as I am too close to lob it from here. But this entire offense can really be boiled down to these two plays. Madden a lot of times can be compared to things like boxing or chess. In this situation, the stretch is my jab. The PA leak, however, is my right hook, which is why I put my fastest and best receiver here. As Quez Watkins' 97 speed is Mike Tyson, so anytime my opponent forgets about this hook and starts focusing too much on the run, that right hook is coming for the knockout. I run inside on the next play just to mix it up, and now needing 7, I switch to the drive flood. As he is mostly running man coverage at this point, and all three of these routes can beat man coverage. But I choose to hit the tight end because it at least beats man to the outside away from any users over the middle. From here, he's coming out in smaller defenses, and anytime I see this, I will try the inside run, which I run the next three plays and ultimately stall my drive as he forces me to a fourth and three that I decide to go for. And when I come out of the huddle, I see that he's in his smallest defense yet in what looks like a dollar defense. So even though the inside zone failed me three straight times, I have to take what the defense gives me and try again. Only that lane closes up super fast as no one blocks the linebacker and he gets the stop. So, lesson learned, the inside run isn't nearly as good as the outside run. We get a safety though and get the ball back, and I read what looks like a cover two in the very next play. So I streak my tight end once again, only this time I put my tight end on a drag so I have two good checkdowns over the middle of the field if I'm wrong, and I have plenty of space to the end zone this time as I wait for that bump, lob it up, and get a huge play flipping the field. From here I call hurry up as I want to keep him in that smaller defense, only I'm going to go back to the stretch run as this was clearly working much better than the inside run. So I make that tight end motion one one more time and he almost shoots the gap but I get outside make one man miss and walk it in on a touch from 22 yards out but I could have been going from anywhere as I get my third straight 20 plus yard carry with this play on defense I score again as well and I just have to show this highlight of me bodying George Kittle and taking the ball from him once again mostly because it was the exact opposite of what happened in real life but Cunningham didn't play in that game so maybe that's why Avante Maddox didn't play in that game either and he scores the next defensive touchdown for me so maybe all these guys will be back when we play the Niners again and hopefully it can be the difference but that's three different scores all from one defense so if you didn't see that video I can't recommend it enough since I kept scoring on defense I didn't get to play offense again until the second half and at this point I'm trying to force a rage quit on the first play of the second half it looks like he's either in cover zero once again or maybe cover two man but it doesn't even matter since this setup beats all of them anyways if no one can stop me my style is impetuous my defense is impregnable and I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. We get a turnover on downs inside the red zone, so I can't really use any of the one play touchdowns from here. So I go back to the stretch run, make that motion again to create a wall of blockers, and we almost score from 16 yards out. I try again on that inside run the next play, and it's official. This run play just doesn't work nearly as well as the stretch, so it really should be only used to keep your opponent honest. As I go back to the stretch setup for another walk in untouched TD with a celebration this time. My opponent finally scores, you know, to keep things close, but seriously, he just won't leave. So at this point, I literally have to run clock just to get out of here. I also go back to the inside run, only this time I bounce into the outside and I find a lot of space to get Swift to over 100 yards and just 13 carries for the game. I keep running inside as to keep the clock going before I hit the stretch run one more time, only this time I run it with no adjustments to the short side of the field and I still get the edge for another big run as this stretch play is just built different as the blocking is insane. On the next play though, I see the safeties drop once again so I switch back to the PA leak one more time and go for the knockout. I was going to rip his heart out, I'm the best ever, I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been but this guy doesn't know the meaning of the word quit in fact he wants more hey bro run this shit back bro run it back why before we finally get a rage quit on another safety before he pulls the plug if you missed the defensive side of this video and want to see how i scored four times on defense or you want to see more plays from this offense i will have links to both of them popping up on screen so just click the links and until next time thanks for watching man like it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below